In my last video, I showed you guys some of the basic tools in Premiere Mobile app. So in today's, I'm going to show you the advanced tool inside of the Premiere Mobile app. So I'm going to be talking about the chroma key, keyframes and max. So the first thing I'm going to show you is max. So max is basically a tool that allows you to hide or modify your video in, in a specific way. So to add overlays or sorry, to add max to your video, what you have to do is basically click on the video you want to add a max to. And when you go scroll down, you're going to see this max option. When you click on the max option, there's different type of max that you can actually apply to your video. We have the circle max, rectangle max, rounded map mask. We have the heart shape max. And basically what this max does, like I said, is basically adds uh, what you want, what you pretty much don't want to be uh, shown in the video. So it's only going to show what's inside the mask. So that's basically what a max does. So we can actually use any of the pre-made max or we can use our own max. So I'm going to use some of the pre-made max. So let's say we want to use this star max. So what you just have to do is click on OK, click on the max. Sorry, we made a mistake. So click on the max option and we're going to click on the ads on the star. Then we're just going to scale it up and we'll just arrange it on the specific area we want it to display. So we can increase it a little bit more. Like I said, you can do it this way and you can click OK. And pretty much you just applied a mask to your own video. And it's just going to hide the rest parts of the video and just show what's inside of the mask. So that's pretty much how you add max to your video. So the second one would be keyframes. So I'm just going to delete this stuff. And so add a keyframe is super, super easy. And there's a different fun ways you can add or play around with keyframes. But I'm just going to go straight to the points and not go deep inside the keyframe part. So to add a keyframe, first of all, we're just going to click on this and we can just make a little bit of edit here. So you can actually change the scale. Pretty much that's one of the things I actually do. You can actually change the scale or zoom it a little bit. Then you can add another keyframe. You can either zoom it to this position and add another keyframe here. And you can add another keyframe here. So pretty much you can do this this way. So when you click out of it, it's going to look something like this. So pretty much that's what it does. So you can actually play around with this keyframe because it's super, super easy to use keyframe and it just basically animates your video in a specific way that you want it. So that's pretty much all about the keyframe aspects. So I'm just going to delete this clip and show you pretty much the chroma key feature in the Firmware Mobile app. So let's say you have a video that has a green screen on it and you want to remove the background or the green background from the video. To do that, you need to have your green screen video and the background that you want to replace it with. So the first thing you need to do, click on the video, your green screen video and click on track switching. So once you do this, click on your video and go to smart cutout. When you click on smart cutout, you're going to see this chroma key feature. Click on it and just find what area do you want to uh, I just find the green parts of the video. You can control the strengths and shadow. Then when you click on OK, you can actually just click on your background. OK, click on OK. Click on your background and just voila. So pretty much that is how easy it is to remove your green screen inside of Femur Mobile. So if you pretty much found this video really helpful, please do smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos. And that's all for today. See you in the next one. Peace.